Hi there retro gamers. Now Valentine's Day has been and gone and you're probably here expecting a heartfelt tale of true love, of sacrifice, of commitment, of devotion, of overcoming any and every obstacle to be with the one person that you love. Fuck you. I want to talk about dinosaurs. So, five retro gaming moments involving dinosaurs. Let's go fucking mental. At number five, let's get him out of the way. It's Yoshi. Here he is coming out of an egg. Here he is molesting a cat. Here he is running away after only taking one hit. Look, we know she about Yoshi, all right? Come on. Let's have a little bit more imagination here. Number four is Jurassic Park. So, good things about Jurassic Park. Well, you've got yourself a nice wee bit of mode seven there and surround sound. However, the rest of the game, I'm not that impressed. The top-down bits are bloody difficult. The taser you get at the start of the game is next to useless, and the raptors eat me, and I don't like being eaten by raptors, which makes you wonder why I did a video about dinosaurs, but here we are. It does have a 3D first-person shooter part to it, but uh, it's not that impressive, especially compared to the 3D visuals you'd find in Star Fox, for example. Also, none of the raptors in this game can open doors. What's the point in them if they can't open doors? At number three, Primal Rage. Now, you'd think that massive dinosaurs beating each other up would be a fantastic thing, but it's not. Most of the dinosaurs you get to play as are boring as fuck. That's right, someone made dinosaurs boring. The fighting engine can be described as alright, at best. It certainly doesn't have the depth or the nuance of Street Fighter. The rest of it, style over substance. Mediocre, trashy, tasteless gore for no other reason than to try and sell a grown-up game, in adverted commas, to wee kids. Number two, Dino Crisis. Ah, now we're getting somewhere. Nice wee survival horror for the PS1. Moves away from the 2D rendered backgrounds of Resident Evil and gives us a full 3D environment which really showed off what the PS1 could do. And the dinosaurs in this game? Fucking terrifying. Any one of these bastards could be the death of you. And that is what a dinosaur moment should be. A moment of awe and yet absolute terror. And Dino Crisis does this very, very well. But not quite well enough to nab the number one spot. Even though the way I've ordered the game so far have not been an indicator of their quality in any kind of way. At number one, Tomb Raider, and you all know the bit I'm talking about. You're exploring deep under the earth, places that humans have not tread for centuries, when suddenly you're in a valley. You think, what an amazing find when something rustles just out of your eye line. You're curious. You peer forward, trying to make out the shape, and you say to yourself, there's no way that's a fucking raptor. It's a fucking raptor. It sprints towards you, teeth and claws and talons bared. You bring out both your guns and you blow that scaly motherfucker to hell. And you think to yourself, that might have been the last raptor in existence. The last one. I might be responsible for the extinction of the dinosaurs. All over oh fuck, there's another one! So, both raptors dispatched you, edge forward thinking, I wonder what else is extinct down here. Different plants, different types of rocks. Oh my fuck, that's a T-Rex! You never forget the first time you see that T-Rex lumber its way round the corner, give off a mighty roar, and charge towards you. That remains the single greatest dinosaur moment in gaming history. So, what's your favourite dinosaur moment? In games? Out of games? Did you meet one in real life? Because if you did, you should tell people that are not me, like scientists people. Tell them. My favourite comment from the last video came from Geek and Sundry's own Dale Kingsmill. She's one of the other Geek and Sundry vloggers and she asked, can she just put anything in a comment so I would read it out in a Scottish accent? Crisp monkey hand sanitizer? Turns out yes. Yes, that will work. Speaking of Geek and Sundry, if you find yourself over there, Check out Mitch Hutz and his cocktails vlog, because cocktails have alcohol in them. 
Also, there are geek references from games and films and everything else, and it's really, really good. But there is alcohol in these cocktails, and that is a good, good thing. Also, check out my brothers and sisters on their own personal channels as well. Check out James Tiger Monkey Isaacs. Check out Christian Infosu. Check out Holland Farkas. Also, keep checking me out. That would be great. I'll be back in two weeks, and as always, good work, retro gamers. I'll most likely kill you in the morning.